Hi everyone, my name is Jit Marak and today we're going to be talking about TV shows. So I went online and I found some questions because I really wanted to do a tag so I mixed in some questions that I found online and some questions that I made up myself. I'm really excited to do this so I'm just going to jump right into it. The first question is favorite TV shows. So some of my favorites are Game of Thrones. I'm basic. I used to really love Vampire Diaries, but I never even finished it. Hi, my Your Mother, Friends, a favorite TV show of all time. It would definitely be Game of Thrones. Next question is favorite genre. I like to watch a little bit of everything. Drama, comedy, th thrillers, kind of. Crime shows, I love. As long as it's good, I am willing to try it. Next question is favorite TV ships. <laughs> Belark. Be Lark. Bellamy and Clark from the 100. They're not canon, they're friends, according to the TV show. As of now, I am dying for them to get together. Their friendship is really nice and I do appreciate a platonic friendship, but I don't see them as that. I'm pretty sure they're in love. <laughs> I also love Christian and Tara from Dance Academy. I'm gonna talk about that later and Elena and Damon, the only reason why I ever watch Vampire Diaries. But yeah, I think I think Bellamy and Clara are like my favorite ship ever and it's not even romantic as of now. Question number four, guilty pleasures. I think, ooh, ooh. Maybe like Gossip Girl. I've watched that thing, <laughs> that show. I think I'm on my third rewatch right now and I don't know what it is about it that I love. I think it's just all of the teenage drama. Um, also like watching like The Bachelor. I got into it recently and now I can't stop. Now I'm watching Bachelor in Paradise. <sighs> Next, least favorite TV show. I don't really have a least favorite TV show. If I don't like something, I just stop watching it. Like I give it one shot. So I watch one episode. If I'm not into it, then I'm just like, okay, this isn't for me. Number six. A show you could not stop watching. My answer for this one is The Society. This show is so good and I watched it in a day, maybe two days. I could not stop watching it. It was so interesting. All of these kids or teenagers are stuck inside this town and they can't get out. So they have to build their own rules and their own government system basically and it was super interesting and I can't wait for the second season. If you haven't watched it, I absolutely recommend it. It is so good. <laughs> Another Netflix show that I could not stop watching was Elite. I watched them not around the same time but they give me the same vibe almost. I don't know, it's because they're about teenagers. But Elite is a murder mystery and it's in Spanish which I love Spanish shows so good and I can't wait for the second season. Next, we have most rewatched TV show. And for this one, I have Dance Academy. I said I was gonna talk about it and here I am. I freaking love this show so much. It's all about dancing, ballet dancers. It's an Australian show. I watched it for the first time, I think, when I was like 14 and I've seen it so many freaking times. Um, it's on Netflix and it's on YouTube and I absolutely recommend it. Please watch it, it's so beautiful. I used to dance when I was younger, off and on. Up until like, actually I took a dance class in college, so up and on all my life. And this show is just so inspiring. It also touches on some really serious stuff like grief and eating disorders and finding your sexuality. Um, and it's just a show that I love so much and the second season is the best one and it's the one that I've watched the most. <laughs> Every now and then I'm like, I gotta watch Dance Academy, it's so good, I love it, I love it. Next I have a show that made you laugh. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is a pretty popular comedy show that I love. It was, it's so funny. It's so funny. Plus all of the topics in Brooklyn Nine-Nine are super relevant. And then there, there's that um, criminal aspect to it that I like. Next, I have a show that made you cry. And for this one, I have Jane the Virgin. <sighs> I love this show so freaking much. This show means so much to me because I see myself in so many parts of it. The show is based on telenovelas, which I grew up watching. The character is, she is raised with her abuela and her mom and her, the three of them, which I grew up with my mom and my grandmother. I'm an immigrant and that's something they talk about a lot. And I don't know, I just love this show. And I, like, I'm not exaggerating. 
I cried <laughs> in every single episode of this show. Like, I'm not even, I'm not lying. I really, really did. Especially the last season. Um, <laughs> part of it is because Jane, the main character, also cries a lot. And I don't know why, but when I see a character cry, I cry immediately. Or when I see someone cry, I cry immediately. I'm just a really easy crier. Ugh, this show is emotional and it's funny and it's so good. And I, please go watch it. It's on Netflix. Next Next, I have shows that surprised you with how much you like them. And for this, I have all of those house renovation shows. I don't know what it is, but I love <laughs> watching people decorate their house or remake their house. It is so good. I really love the tiny house ones, but they're so good. And I can't even explain why I like it so much. It's just so fun to watch people buy houses and like decorate them. Next, I have favorite show as a kid, and my all-time favorite show was- Well, actually, I have two, and they're both Mexican shows, because I used to watch a lot of telenovelas. But Rebelde, which is like Rebel, I listened to all the songs, I went to the concert, I watched it religiously every time that it came on TV. And then my second favorite is another novella, and it's called Al Diablo con los Guapos, which is- to the devil with handsome man that's the translation but it's another novella that i love it's about a poor girl who falls in love with a rich boy and it's just and i guess i used to also like watching like disney and stuff next i have favorite comfort show and for this one i chose once upon a time the reason why i find this show so comforting is because it's so good and pure and it's all about family and hope and love and there's fairy tales and it's just all about goodness and having a good heart. What's not comforting about that? <laughs> it's a show that makes you happy. At least it made me happy while watching it. The next question I have a new show that you're looking forward to watching and for this one I chose The Witcher which is coming out on Netflix. I'm really excited for it. I've never played the game and I've never read the book but I watched the trailer and it was so good and I'm just really excited to watch a new cool epic fantasy story. So then I know the trailer looked really good and I'm really really excited. <laughs> Last question I have is what are you currently watching? So I'm currently watching Outlander on Netflix. I'm in the first season. This one is a time traveling um, historical drama romance. I really enjoy historical types. Thanks, truck. I'm also watching The 100. I am this fourth season. It's just so good. It's so good. It's really stressful watching it. Plus, it has Balark, which is my favorite. <laughs> and I've also been watching an Anton Abbey, and it's another like period drama. I'm on the fourth season now. I've been watching it really, really slowly, but I've been enjoying it, and hopefully, I'll catch up sometime. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. Wow, I rambled a lot, right? Probably. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found some new shows to watch. Let me know if you have watched any of the shows that I've talked about or if you enjoy anything that I talked about in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys later. Bye!